Okay, I think we're just about live. Drop a one in the chat if you can hear me. We're gonna talk about some pretty weird stuff tonight, actually. Just uh, drop a one if you can hear me. We'll just let everyone jump into the stream. Takes about 20 seconds for everyone to load in and then we'll get started. Okay, just another 10 seconds, get everyone loaded in and we'll get started. Okay, perfect. Well, we are going to talk today about the new Obama movie. Yes, the Obamas actually produced a movie. It, it was funny because there was all this c stuff saying it's a big conspiracy. There's no, you know, there's no, they didn't produce a movie and all this other stuff. Well, they actually did. I've, I've watched the movie over the weekend. I watched it on Sunday and it was super weird. And I want to tell you a little bit about it and also how it connects with a lot of things going on. So I won't spoil the whole movie for you. You're more than welcome to watch it. I had to actually log into my brother's Netflix account to even watch it because I don't have Netflix. But it was super, super weird. And I don't think the average person will understand all the pre-programming around it. Uh, so I'll, I'll mention a few of the bits as well, the programming that was in it, which was obvious. Once you, you hear me say it, you'll see how obvious it is. But the other thing is I won't ruin the movie for you. I won't tell you exactly uh, what happens throughout because it is, uh, surprisingly, quite an entertaining movie. But the whole premise is around a cyber attack to destabilize and sort of wipe out America off the map. And it's got all the signs that you would normally see. It's, it's pretty much everything we've been talking about that they've turned it into a movie. So... I would recommend watching it, but I want to just go to the shared screen a moment here. Let me just get this loaded up and I'll show you what I can show you because uh, you know what Holly Weird is like. If I try and show you all the trailers, they're going to give me some sort of crazy lawsuit strike. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Holly Weird, as I like to refer to them. So this is the movie. It was produced by the Obamas. Yes, it actually was produced by them. It had Julia Roberts, um, some really big, uh, Ethan Hawke, uh, the guy I can never pronounce his name, Mahashala Ali. He's a really good actor. I, I love watching his, his stuff, actually. Um, but it was, a, it was a weird one. This is what it looks like, the, the cover. You might have seen it. But this was, this was a crazy movie. And the whole premise behind it was a three-step theory of isolation and how people go crazy when they're isolated and all they want to do is go back to being with people. Synchronized chaos and finally civil war is the third stage. Now, in the movie, it gets a little bit wild around the civil war, how it <laughs> happens so quickly. Uh, but let me mention one other thing. There's another movie coming out and it's coming out shortly. And it's called Civil War in 2024. <clears throat> and it's all about the same things as this movie, Leave the World Behind. So there's a lot of dots being connected here. And again, we've, we found all the information. What role did the Obamas play in the film? Uh, Barack and my, my, uh, Michelle helped produce the movie with their production company, Higher Ground Production, in partnership with Netflix. The couple founded the company in 2018 to help tell powerful stories, entertain, inform, and inspire while elevating new and diverse voices in the entertainment industry. Now, I'll tell you why this is all connected when you understand what's been coming out this week. All of this stuff about cyber attacks, cyber attacks on power plants. This goes on. In fact, we'll come back to all of this because it goes on and on and on. But I just want to mention a couple of things I thought were really strange in the movie. Number one, the one thing I always look out for at the start of any either music performance, whether it's Rihanna or Lady Gaga or any of the Super Bowl, I always look out for the all-seeing eye, right? <laughs> I know I'm sounding a little bit kooky here with these sort of comments, but 
I always look out for that, the start or the end. And it, it did not disappoint. It was right there at the start of the movie. And I was like, wow, okay, that's weird. Then I saw the artwork of the all-seeing eye inside the movie all the time. Then I saw the, the waves, the three stage of the waves, and it was, it was super weird. And my wife always says, shush be quiet when we're watching a movie because she says, you're going to ruin it for me because you see everything that I don't see and I just want to enjoy the movie. But um, th there was some weird stuff, like there was the, the waves, be we all see when you watch it, like the waves behind the bed uh, rose, so the artwork changed. The other weird thing, if you understand about cyber attacks and frequencies and all the other stuff, they showed the, the artwork actually changed inside the lounge as well. So it was these frequencies, it was these three or four peaks. And if you study this stuff, you'll kind of understand what all this means. And then it changed to a new frequency, the artwork. And then in the third scene, it changed to a, the third frequency. And it was super, some of this stuff you can't even mention on YouTube. It was, it was all there in this movie. So that was the other thing. Um, what else did I notice? I'll, like the, the ship, the ship was called the White Lion. I noticed that right away. That was the, one of the first transatlantic uh, slavery ships. The um, off ramps on the, the road was, um, that was all around, you know, th th there was all these connections throughout the movie. And then there was the blatantly obvious thing, like the, the girl saying, oh, all white people are bad and all this other stuff. I was like, okay, let's just put this to the side. But there was a lot of weird stuff in this movie, but it did sort of show you some of the things that they are, well, what we hear all the time are coming. And then when I was looking at that, I had this article and I had this last week that I was going to talk about, but I thought, no, I don't want to, you know, bring too much doom this week because it's Christmas. I want to have a nice week myself. Uh, so I won't bring this article. But then when I watched the movie, I was like, no. I've got to talk about this today because they all of these articles are coming out at the moment at the same time as these movies on cyber attacks. So what's it saying? The UK could be brought to a halt at any moment by a cyber attack. The Joint Committee on the National Security Strategy says that large swathes of critical infrastructure are vulnerable to ransomware attacks. The UK is unprepared for a large scale attack at any moment could be brought to a standstill, the new report says. The um, parliament, the GCNSS said responsibility for tackling ransomware attacks should be taken off the Home Office, which the report accused of giving political priority to other issues and given to the cabinet office and overseen by the deputy prime minister. Um, probably not, it should be put in the hands of cybersecurity experts, uh, not politicians anyway. But um, anyway, ransomware is a cyber attack where hackers breach a system and lock access to data and files, demanding payment in order to release the files or stop them being leaked. So it talks about all these different cyber attacks that we've seen taking place. So there's a lot of this. There's a lot of it talking about Russia and other places. But remember this article we talked about earlier in the year, the US government agencies were hit in a global cyber attack. And it really crippled a lot of agencies. There's a, an article on it here. Now, the reason I highlighted this part about the Department of Energy is because this is what I see as one of the biggest risks with all this stuff about cyber attacks. They were among multiple federal agencies breached in the ongoing global hacking campaign. Now, if you understand what happened, I think this was this week, actually. Uh, no, it was last week. It was last week there was all this news around Russia and China, although they don't actually know who it was. But anyway, we'll just go with this. Hack the UK's most dangerous power plant in major attack on British energy. So why do you think I'm talking about all of this then? Well, if a, if a cyber attack happens on a nuclear reactor or a massive energy plant or something like that, you can set off a chain event of pretty serious stuff. And again, coming back to the movie, what did, what did they do? They, they changed all the, the signals and they changed all the GPS tracking and, and the satellites were out of action. Pretty much everything stopped working. Now, people keep saying about this movie, oh, it was a global thing, the whole world ended. It actually didn't, it was just the USA. 
So they were saying it's a warning for the USA because the USA has made all these enemies around the world. And then all these other countries team up and it talks about, you know, could be Russia or Iran. That was a big theme through the movie. It was about Iran. And they had all the, um, you know, the leaflets were in Arabic and, uh, you know, all this sort of stuff. So again, you always look at it. OK, now it's all about Iran. Well, we keep hearing about Iran all the time and uh, that that could be a new front. You know, there's all this weird, weird <laughs> stuff going on. I'm trying to keep it as light as possible. I know it's Christmas week. <laughs> Um, Reuters just came out with this article as well. Major cyber attack could cost the world $3.5 trillion, Lloyds of London. Now, they're very specific to say on here, a major cyber attack on a financial services payment system. Hmm, where have we heard this, CBDC? Could lead to global losses of $3.5 trillion. Much of it, what does it say here? Not covered by insurance. Commercial insurance market... Lloyd said on Wednesday, the United States, now look at this, is this not a coincidence, would suffer losses of 1.1 trillion out of the 3.5. So basically 30% of that would be the US over a five year period from such an attack, which would cause widespread disruption to global business, according to a systemic risk scenario developed by Lloyd and the Cambridge Center for Risk Studies. So Again, do you not think it's a bit strange, because I do, that all these things are happening at the same time? All these articles come out. Uh, Alliance as well, they've showed all the risks. Uh, rank one, cyber incidents, they go through and, and talk about all the risk factors. Uh, the IMF, the global cyber threat, they've done a big report on it as well. Uh, your favorite, WEF, also did it. Geopolitical instability raises threat of catastrophic cyber attack in the next two years. By the way, everyone always asks me, am, am I just sat here with all of these on my desk? Do I just have like a huge pile? No, I actually keep it all in my head. I just I have a crazy memory and I remember all these things. And then what happens is sometimes I'll watch a movie like this one. And then all of a sudden, as I'm watching the movie, all the articles that I've seen that are stored in my subconscious somewhere. They all just click together like a chain. And then I get up and I go, okay, let me put all these articles together. Let me find that. I remember it from somewhere. And that's how I make this sort of stuff. It's, it's pretty weird, I, I guess you can say. But they, they, they go on to talk about how this cyber attack is going to be uh, catastrophic. It's going to be global and it's going to happen before January. So let's say January of 2020. Five. So basically a year, just over a year, they say it's going to happen. I hope not, but uh, that's what they are saying. S&P Global also talk about it. Um, Cyber Magazine did a, a survey on it and they said the, the top 10 state-sponsored threats. Again, this was what was in the movie, a state-sponsored threat. They also put it with a high um, probability. Now, a couple of other things in the movie, if you see the, the sort of um, media for this, you see this image, and I'd seen it a couple of times, didn't really think much of it, the NASA thing, you know, and all that sort of business, and the boys. But in the movie, this is what it showed. It was completely different. This is, uh, I assume, a reference to George Orwell, 1984. Um, that's, I think, Big Brother, Obey, NASA, <laughs> Obey, NASA, Obey, all this sort of stuff. So there's all these hidden things in it uh, all the way through um, that it was just so weird to me anyway. I thought the whole thing was absolutely bizarre. I don't know if you've seen the movie, drop a comment below, but I, I, I just thought it was weird. <laughs> and then there's all these new ones coming out next year um, of these civil wars, cyber attacks in the US. It's funny because I felt like we were going through this period now. Maybe it's just because it's Christmas in, in the West, especially. I felt like it was sort of dying down. All the craziness was dying down. Yeah, there's loads of things going on behind the scenes. But I thought, you know what, this craziness is dying down a bit now. Good. I'm glad it's dying down a bit. Let me go back to some form of normality. And then next thing you know, it all just starts ramping up again. And we're seeing all these, all these movies coming out 
uh, pretty much, it reminds me of like when we did that series on the Hunger Games and I broke it all down, uh, you know, with the Hunger Games and linked it to the 2050 vision with uh, America. In fact, I should probably do a video on that. I think you'd really enjoy that video on America 2050 because I haven't seen anyone else actually talk about talk about it and all the reports and the studies on America 2050 with the, the mega regions. Um, in fact, no, I have seen one other person talk about it, but he's, uh, he's banned. <laughs> he's censored off YouTube, so he can't even post videos on it. But um, yeah, I think I'll probably do that. You, you, I think you'll find that very interesting, the mega regions and how they're kind of aligned with a lot of things we, we, we've talked about before. It's, it's pretty weird, but yeah. Quick stream today. Thought I'd just do more, more one with a bit of entertainment and these new cyber attack threats. Don't want to make it too heavy. It is Christmas week. I hope you have a nice Christmas and uh, enjoy yourself. <clears throat> I'll definitely post on Friday. We'll do a walk and talk, weather permitting. Not sure if I'll post before then. So other than that, I hope you have a, a great week. Don't don't get caught up in all the craziness and the traffic because it is. It is crazy. I went out today. Uh, but thanks for being online. Thanks for being a subscriber. Take care. God bless you. And I'll see you on the next video, whatever day that is. All right. Bye for now.